Lovely humans of the internet, what is up? Welcome back to the NALF YouTube channel. And before I can satisfy you and talk about an interesting and unexpected fact about Europe, check out some of my day. You close? Are you here? All right, here I come. Stay on the phone. Here I come, here I come. I'm coming. What took you so long? One time I want to do a really cool RT shot that's super risky and you take a long time? What's all this stuff? What is all this? Oh, that's the biggest, biggest that left all this stuff. <laughs> uh, camera's right there. Can we go get it? Hi. I gotta come out. Emergency lights on? No. Here we go, right there, right there, right there. Hey, camera, there it is, there it is. No, there's, there's a truck behind us. Was that shot worth it? Because it gave me a lot of anxiety to get it. Alright, welcome to another video. That shot would have been really, really cool if Cody would have just done what he usually does and parked in the normal spot. But he was on a mission to destroy my art, I guess. Is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> what, the, what is that? It's a new zoom lens that I can zoom in extra. What is that? When I want to single you out. That is. Is that true, Cody? That is intense. <laughs> oh, oh. Most of you guys should know that I am from Oregon in the United States, a fantastically awesome, amazing state in the northwest corner of the continental US. Lovely little corner of the globe. I actually really, really like it. Now, Oregon has a very, very similar climate and just overall environment to Germany. I've said that since I first came here in 2016. I'm like, this is, this looks a lot like Oregon. It's very green, it rains a similar amount, has a similar amount of sunshine, temperatures are very similar. And I've just always really compared Germany and Oregon and just feel like, yeah, they're, they're very, very similar lands. So I've been thinking about getting a hand tap. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I just, baby. I want not to have a mental breakdown. How hard are you hitting? Not that hard. <laughs> Actually, it's my more than you want to Okay, good, good, good. I've got the test. Good. Nice. Nice. Fuck it in the gun! In the gun! I need some more footwork. That, that's not the shot we're working. We need footwork. There it is. That's better. That's better. Chill, chill, chill! Oh. Yeah. Sometimes Nick crosses the line and sometimes habitual line snipers need to be put in their place. We were trying to work out and things get a little out of hand, but we're cool. And uh, yeah, it's just, no, a couple, you know. Dude, it's fine, bro. No, like, no, we're cool. It's cool it's Usually I stay in Germany until about middle of October when our football season ends and then I go back to the States. This year I'm staying a little bit longer, like into December, because I want to see the Christmas markets here in Germany. So I'm getting a little bit more of the, of the winter time. And what I have started to notice is that it gets dark way, way earlier here than it does back home in Oregon. Habitual line steppers. What did you guys think of that punch? I directed that scene which Adrian punched me. Cody was the cameraman. What do you think of the film? Man, the cinematography I think, ooh, was man. good because you, your director told you exactly where to stand to get the good angle. But, uh, no, you know what? Actually, it's probably on there of still rolling you guys saying, you're in the wrong spot, you need to back up, you're not gonna have a good shot. And I'm gonna say, let's let's make the fight real quick. I'm gonna, Yo, chill, chill, chill. Shut no, up. fuck that, yeah. fuck that. Okay. I mean, then you, I'm like, alright, chill, 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 chill. And then knock it out. Boom. Okay? Alright. Alright, you rolling? Yeah. Roll it. Alright, so hit a couple. Good. Hit, we're going good, good, good. Alright, fuck, dude, chill, chill, chill. 
Yeah. <laughs> so I checked the tech. Pull me up. <laughs> and then me being the Once I realized that, I that you weren't gonna move, I... They moved I, and I ended up in the exact spot I wanted to be. Beautiful art. It's what I do. Impeccable director. Fly now. Once again. Thank you for watching. We're gonna launch. Now, I always figured, probably just kind of dumbly, that, well, because the climates are the same, it looks the same, it feels the same, Oregon and Germany must have very similar latitude. And when you look at a map of the world, and you kind of eyeball it, you're like, oh yeah, Germany and, and Oregon, they're pretty similar latitudes. You would, not do, you would not do well with Bruno, man. What? You would just... He's like Jadrian times 10. <laughs> If you think, yeah, if you think like he's bad at this at all, like, oh my, if he felt I don't, we're just any blood in the water, he would just, I'm not, sorry, Cody, I'm not going to take it seriously because I know that he's just trying to have a good time, but he's he's trying trying to be riled up, <laughs> but there's still a butt. Yeah, because it's a real thing, but, but, <laughs> because it's a real thing, people think about that, and we have a, the 12th of October in Spain is there. The world needs thing. to know. <laughs> The world needs to know. Good, heated, political history discussions at lunch. <laughs> smarter, than, and smarter than the comment on this. Very good. <laughs> Even Roby is. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh, come back, come back, come back. Come back. was wrong. There's a reason that it stays light in Germany until about 10 p.m. in the summer, which is amazing by the way. And there's also a reason that it gets dark at about 4 freaking 30 in the afternoon in the winter. It's because Germany and, and Oregon are not in the same latitudes, like at all. Germany is much further north, which actually really, really surprised me just because, you know, Europe and the States are always compared back and forth. There's similar cultures, similar lifestyles, similar climates, blah, blah, blah. I just figured it's got to be probably on the same latitude. Uh, no. I'm pretty shocked at the latitude of Europe compared to the States. Like Berlin, look how far north that is. It's insane. You think that southern European cities that are warm, like Madrid, for example, would correspond latitude-wise with something like Miami, right? No! Look where it lands. What is that? That's like Nevada. That's like northern Nevada. In the summer here in Germany, where it stays light out till like 10 p.m., I'm just like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't even think that, hey, that's pretty crazy. It doesn't stay light until 10 p.m. back home in the States. You'd be lucky to have daylight at like 8, maybe 8.30. But now that I'm in the winter, and it sucks that it's getting dark early, I did a little research and finally realized, oh, what I thought for the last four years was wrong. So I just thought it was really, really interesting. Pretty cool, I mean, you guys know that I like maps, so looking at this graphic map where you can see really how these locations correspond with each other and have much different latitudes than you might expect. So that is an interesting and unexpected fact about Europe. Okay, see you later.